Good afternoon. Meditations of an Epi Girl, episode 46. Okay, today, once again, short, sweet, and to the point. Um, Got a lot of calls over the weekend, last weekend, and throughout the week, got a couple of inboxes regarding uh, blind faith. You know, how do you have faith in something that's not tangible? How do you believe that something's going to happen when you don't know the outcome, when you're not going to see it? And that's the funny thing about faith, faith in anything for that matter, whether it's a relationship, a job, a financial windfall, whatever, it's never tangible until you have it right in your hand. And until that point, you can do nothing more than just hope that it will come through for you. Um, in these economic times, and I want to kind of talk about money for a brief second, because it seems like that's the overtone with everybody. You know, it's coming to the end of tax season. I think the deadline is what, Tuesday? So you got people banking on these tax returns, not knowing if they're going to have offsets. You got people banking on this money to take care of bills. You got people banking on other people's money. Um, the one thing my dad always told me is never bank on anything that you don't have sitting in front of you. Don't bank to pay that bill if that money's not already in your account because you never know what's going to happen. And the same can be true about relationships, familial, intimate, professional. Don't bank on anything. Nothing in life is guaranteed. You cannot say, <clears throat> well, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. If you have not built a steady foundation of love, trust, commitment, dedication, all those key elements, um, as you build those key elements, it takes faith. It takes understanding that, hey, I'm putting this in, so I'm going to get something out. I'm going to get this level of love, dedication, and commitment in return. So you're looking for a return on your investment. That's with anything in our lives. We raise our kids a certain way because the return on that investment is them becoming productive members of society. And some of us are banking <laughs> on our kids taking care of us and things of that nature. So everything you do in life to some degree is based on some level of faith, whether you're an atheist, a Buddhist, Jehovah's Witness, Jesuit, ca Christian, Catholic, Baptist, Episcopalian, regardless of Scientologists, regardless of what your belief base is, everything you do in your life requires faith. So why is it so hard when you're looking towards a specific goal? Every day you get in your car, you have faith that you're going to make it to your destination safely. Um, when you get into a relationship, you have faith that this is going to happen properly. When you sign an employment contract, you have faith that this employer is going to compensate you basically based on your performance. I had a brain fart just then. Um, everything we do is faith-based. So all I would say is no matter who you pray to, no matter who you worship, where you worship, when you worship, it takes some level of faith. And there are certain passages that people have said to me over the years and have quoted to me about faith and belief and understanding. I am a firm believer that closed mouths do not get fed in any situation. So until you speak on in detail, in depthly, as to what your dreams, aspirations, goals, and desires are, you will never get those things. If you go into a relationship and you never tell that partner what it takes to make you happy, how do you expect them to do what makes you happy? If you go into that job and you tell them, oh, well, salary is negotiable, I'm cool, um, you can pay me whatever, then don't get mad on payday when you see that they've pretty much bottom of the barrel you in relation to your pay. Um, when it comes to your kids, if you're constantly belittling your kids, telling them you hate them, you can't stand them, you wish you never had them, they're a burden, then don't expect 20 years down the line when you need some sort of hospice care or something like that and they're unwilling to provide it. It's the exact same thing, like I've always said, and I think it's a common thread in all my videos, is that you have to believe in something to get anything from this universe that we exist within. And you have to believe in something. Even if it's believing in yourself, you got to believe in something to get somewhere. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. My thing is, whatever's meant to, for you will come to you right on time. Not a minute before. 
not a minute too late. So I know some of us are feeling like, you know, we're teetering on that edge, the brink of insanity. We're at the breaking point. We might have an eviction notice. We might have gotten a foreclosure notice. We might have gotten a repossession notice for our car or a notice that your credit cards are being shut off or that your bank account is overdrawn. In those moments of adversity, is when you really realize how strong you are, even if it requires you fall into your knees at that moment. Ask in abundance and you will receive in abundance. So don't just go to your God, the person that you worship and say, oh God, I need a job. Because you will get a job. How about you be more detailed and in depth when you're planning out the outfits you're going to wear, when you're going shopping to hit the club, you're thinking to yourself, I need some blue pants to match those blue shoes in my closet. Then I got to get some green eyeshadow. I got to get white accessories. I got to get this. And you give yourself a whole list to achieve this overall look. Why not provide that list to the universe? You know, put it out there, speak in abundance, say, not I just want a good job. I want a job that will cover with, with the compensation package that will cover my financial needs. Instead of just saying, oh, I want a good man or a good woman. Yeah. How about you say, I need a partner who is going to compliment me, not only emotionally, but physically and psychologically. You know, I need somebody who's going to enhance my existence. Open your damn mouth. Because far too many times we sit around and when we should be listening, we talking. And when we need to just, just talk and just put it out there and say what we want, that's when we fall silent. That's why you don't get what you want. That's why you don't get what you need. Everybody struggles. I struggle every day, financially, emotionally, psychologically. I struggle. It's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to question. It's okay to be unsure and or uncertain because whatever you're supposed to get, you're going to get, but you can't rush it. You can't tell the universe, I want this right now and expect it to come right now. What's going to happen is you're going to be right there on that edge. You got one foot off, one foot on, and you leaning. You about to fall when everything is going to come through. You cannot give up that base of solid faith. You cannot give up that desire to speak it into existence. Words are very powerful things. If you keep everything bottled up inside, nobody, physical or metaphysical for that matter, knows what it is that you need. So then how can your needs be addressed? That's my message for today, people. Speak on what you want. Speak on what you need to whoever. Whatever the situation, open your mouth and watch the difference that your words make. That's my time, people. Peace and blessings.